I think that everyone should pay tribute to their ancestors. And in so doing, I created some pictures that I'd like to share with you. This is my Aunt Mandy and her husband, Rufus. Rufus was an infantryman in World War I who came home to let everybody see him in his uniform. And my Aunt Mandy worked for the wealthy whites in Harrison County in Marshall, Texas. One of them gave her what she's worth. And as you can see, it's too much for her. But she was really pleased when what we call the mean old picture man came by to take this picture. So she put on her husband's hat. And so there you have her posed showing that he belongs to her. <laughs> and we used to distribute these to everybody in our family. We always gave presents at Christmas. And we were told not to spend more than $20 of them. And there were, for them, and there were two founders, by the way, of Stephanie and Destiny Arts. The other one was my first cousin, James Weissner, who is suffering from dementia, so he isn't here. But the gift was given to both of us, and we decided that we would share it. And he also would do these pictures. Then we would go out to Kinko's at that time, get them copied, and get us some construction paper, and we would give them to our relatives for Christmas. But my aunt who passed away, that was our, our parents' oldest brother and sister, okay, left us $25,000 in her will for us to be able to market and protect our art. But we decided that there were a lot more people who were young, struggling artists who needed to have the same protection. So that's the way we started stepping into Destiny Arts. Now the other thing that I am, and God gave me this gift, I am the wife of a documented original Tuskegee Airman who has since passed from us. So I have a picture of his mother, and we call her Mother Marie. And Mother Marie has distinct, distinct pleasure of being not the mother of one documented original Tuskegee Airman, but two. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm in the process of painting the other one because somebody finally sent me a picture of him. But both Claude and Atrel Platt were documented original Tuskegee Airmen who lived at 1422 New York, which is right up the street in the part of Terrell Heights, okay? So we wanted you to know about them. And this one I call my Tuskegee Airmen because he was my husband. And when I painted this picture for him, somehow or another, he decided that he could sign it. Which <laughs> gave him a real, really bad in the family. But I just came back and painted over and he said to me, you shouldn't have done that because what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine and I can sign anything. <laughs> you would have had to know Claude to know how bad he was. But these are the three things that I did that way. And this is called Free at Last. And I did that when we had a 19th of June exhibition that was downtown in the city hall. Okay? And it's showing the blockade of the Bay of Galveston and the general ownership and of course the people leaving the plantations and coming away to get their land. So we call this free at last. Lift every 